Flooding brought on by Sandy's wind and rain, and the storm surge, the waves that were created along the coast. And sometimes, many found themselves homeless in New York City. This hope found its way in the most unexpected part of the world, with kind people of the Filipino community through the partnership of Ignacio Lucristo and the FY9 Foundation. Our correspondent, Gabby Bolomeo, is on the scene reporting on this extraordinary monument. Hi everyone, I'm your host Gabby Bormeo with OTSNY. Here we are in New York City in Times Square where we are with the FYM Foundation where they are providing aid for homeless people here in New York City. You know, this is actually the first time a third world country is providing aid for a first world country. So we are witnessing history and as you can see, the turnout is amazing. So follow me where I'm going to interview some of the people. The overwhelming turnout exceeded expectations when thousands gathered together in Times Square to receive gift bags from enthusiastic here we are with the gift bags that they're giving away for the homeless and the underprivileged. I just saw a bunch of homeless people coming through to, you know, to watch the show and I just started crying because, you know, these are my people. You know, coming from all around the world, helping people. This is, this is humanity at its best and I'm so proud to call myself a Filipino today. sa salita ng napakalaking tagumpay ni Bindin ni Diyos sa ginawang ito na Iglesia ni Cristo sa Times Square. Masasabi kong ang lahat ng naganap dito ay bunga ng pagpapanatan ng lahat ng kapatid sa Amerika at bunga ng panalangin ng ating tagapamalang pagkalahatan na hinilin niya sa Diyos na ibigay na lahat ng tagumpay sa opasyon ito. Sa pagkatayon sa ating tagapamahala, ang upasang ito ang kapas ang kapati ng Diyos para makilala ng lubos ang Iglesia ni Cristo dito sa Amerika. Tinagsa ito ng una ng mga kapatid, ng mga homeless people, ng mga batang kaling sa orphanage, at nakita ko na napakaraming tataga rito sa New York ang tumigil at nanood kasama na yung mga turista. Takantaka sila kung ano itong ginagawa ito. Ang nangyaring himala ay ganito. Apat na araw pa, bago ito, inanusyo ng weather bureau dito na mayroong bagyong dadating. At tamang-tama, ngayong araw sana ngayong dadating. Akalain mo, biglang na-dissipate na wala ang bagyo. At kagabi, sa television, na ngayong araw lang ito magiging cloudy at very big chance ng rain. Pero pula, kaninang maga, hanggang ngayon nagsasalita natin, natapos na, napakaganda ng araw, sumikat ang napakagandang araw. Hello, New York! I am Brother Barry Thompson, and on behalf of the Church of Christ and the Felix Y. Manalo Foundation, Welcome to the International Aid for Humanity. Now with me today is Sister Cynthia Van Schemelhout. How are you, Sister Cynthia? I'm doing great, Brother Barry. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us in this inaugural event. Friends, as Church of Christ members, we understand that helping others is a Christian responsibility. 
The Church of Christ is a global religious organization committed to constantly enriching its members' spiritual life and to consistently bring positivity to society during very trying times. To read to us the message from the Executive Minister of the Church of Christ, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo, please welcome Brother Gregory Worthen, a minister of the Gospel. On behalf of the members of the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ from all over the world, I extend my heartfelt and profound sympathies to the people of New York City, particularly those who were worst hit by Hurricane Sandy and are still suffering from this calamity. The Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ, through its main arm of charity works, the Felix Y. Manalo Foundation Incorporated, provided relief operations to the victims of Hurricane Sandy. This time, we are donating a total amount of $150,000 to the different government agencies of New York City, which responded to the needs of the people of this city when it mattered most. We are also handing out gift bags to homeless people. We know that such an amount and gifts are small compared to the enormous damage inflicted by the recent superstorm, the efforts of the agencies that came to their succor, and the sufferings of the homeless. But these go with our deepest sympathies and our prayers to the Lord, that in times of great trials and hardships, He will grant comfort to the victims and alleviate their sufferings, and grant blessings to those who help them. Signed by the Executive Minister of the Iglesia Ni Cristo Church of Christ, Eduardo B. Manalo.